Good morning and welcome back to beautiful, beautiful Slovenia, which I have fallen completely in love with. It's a beautiful crisp morning. I thought I'd record this outside, but I'll be quiet because I've got neighbours. I don't want to wake anyone up. But it's beautiful and I'll show you some footage of the beautiful sunrise and the scenery because it's just a beautiful place. I keep saying beautiful, but it is. <laughs> it's so nice. Yesterday was absolutely incredible to see the mama bear and her two cubs just them wandering around all together. The mama bear kept looking up like this and looking around and it was just magical, the best experience ever. You wait for that amount of time and then to suddenly see a bear, you're like, oh, it's really worth it. Like you lose all hope, your heart sinks. And then suddenly you hear, Rah! and I'm like, that's a bear. <laughs> so it was just so good, so, so good. Okay, so back to today's adventures. So we'll be going back out to another hide. I think a different one this time. There might be some snow this afternoon and there might be some tomorrow. So that would be a really cool element to the photos. Um, but I'll go back out there and hopefully see some bears again. And yeah, I'll see what happens today. I'll take both cameras again and I'm gonna swap them out a bit, but I'll talk more about that. Um, so I don't bore you, I'll do that later. <laughs> bye bye for now, bye.
right, we'll go through now the equipment I'm taking today to the wildlife hide. I have been using mainly my XH2S, what I'm filming on right now, and I've had that attached to the 200 millimeter, which is fine. But today I'm gonna to switch it up. I'm gonna use the XH2 attached to the 200 millimeter, and that's gonna be my main setup today, these two together, because they work really well together as well. The X-H2 is a fantastic photography camera, maybe with the telephoto, um, telephoto, teleconverter, haven't decided, I still haven't used it yet, because when you have the teleconverter attached, it puts the f-stop at 2.8 as the minimum, not two. That's why I haven't used it. But yeah, I think these two together will be my setup today. And then I'll also have 150 to 600 millimeter will be on my X-H2S. I've used this, until it gets super dark and then I can't use this, fine. And then I'll use my X-H2 with the 200 millimeter throughout, that's the plan anyway. And my gimbal, which is over there, one second, I'm back. <laughs> so my gimbal, gimbal head, this one, which is my 50 quid bargain from KF Concept has been absolutely amazing. It's so easy to use and it's been fantastic for my filming. I've been able to pan slowly. I can lift this, move it slowly. Best 50 quid I've ever spent. I'm so happy it was 50 quid as well. <laughs> it was such a bargain. Yeah, really happy with my equipment. You can't do much about it. The bear's coming out after 5 p.m. It being dark in the forest and then um, raining. I had, literally had everything against me. Rain, dark forest and bears coming out really late. But the 200 millimeter did brilliant so I'm really really happy with this lens yeah I'm really excited I'm going with no expectations I think that's the best thing because as I've said this is the wildlife it's unpredictable you don't know if they're going to be there or not you hope they're there you really sit there thinking please just show up and then they do and then they're there so five hours of waiting they're there so it's fine and I'm just going to hope that I'll see them today in the nice light and earlier would be nice but I can't ask for everything. Anything now is a bonus. I'm really happy with yesterday. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'll get going. So I've been talking loads and I will see you at the hide. Bye.
Good morning folks and welcome back to Slovenia again. As you can probably tell I am very tired because yesterday I had the best experience in the world and I could not sleep because <laughs> I was just so overwhelmed with so much happiness and it's sorry I get very tearful at beautiful things. <laughs> um, so where do I begin? I've probably done a voiceover I imagine for the bears and what I experienced but I got to the hide, I got everything set up. We were there a bit later when I was setting up, I think it was after two, and I sat there just doing my thing, just taking pictures of the scenery, trying to like, you know, kill a bit of time because I thought I was going to be there for like another five hours. And I was like doing something, I looked up and I saw a bear cub and I was like, they're here already. And it was like three, three thirty, something like that. And I was like, oh my word, because I hadn't had them in the daytime yet or after five. It's normally like in the evening at dusk or sunset. And they were there and it was the mum with her two cubs again and I was just like, oh my word, they were so close. And I was just watching them. The mother is just so gentle. You just watch her looking around and she kept standing up and I got a picture of her like stood up and I was just like, I literally was crying <laughs> in that moment because it's like, I, just, I can't even explain it. It was just so beautiful. There's bears, like wild bears right in front of you. And I'm just, sat there and they're just walking past and I was just like oh my word I don't know it was just so magical and then she got spooked by something and she alerted to her cubs they ran away and then I was like I wonder if there's a bear coming and then suddenly this male bear appears and he was very flighty again looking around and he jumped at like a twig breaking he was like oh and I was like oh he reminds me of my dog <laughs> he was so sweet and he was so handsome their fur is darker he had like a black patch on his back and more silvery fur and then he got spooked and that was like maybe 20 minutes he was there and then he got spooked by something I was like oh no what is going on today and then he ran off and a mother with two cubs appeared again. I don't know if it was the same mother. I don't know if it would make sense if it was, but she appeared with the cubs and I was just like, oh, what is going on? Why am I getting so lucky? And it was just so good. And she was so close to the hide, like right in front of me. She was stood right there. Yeah, it was just incredible. And then she got spooked. I think they were there for like maybe half an hour, 40 minutes again. And then she got spooked by something. I was like, oh no, I don't know what was wrong. Something spooked them. And about 20 minutes later, like nearer five, I think it was maybe 40 minutes later, two more males appeared. And I was like, I've got so lucky. It was so good. I just got so lucky with all the bears. And it's nice to see that, like it's so random and sporadic. And I hope that reflects in itself how wild these bears are. They're not like in this habituated state where they come past the hides. It's very random. It's not like a set time they're there. They just appear when they appear, they go when they go. And you're just lucky, really. And I got so lucky. I think I'm a bear whisperer. Um, I can't describe to you how it felt or just that whole moment. I All yesterday evening, I was just sat like this, just being like, what have I witnessed? It's just so good. I just was so overwhelmed and I still am. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I really have. I'm gonna try and not get tearful. Uh, but if you know me, I love nature, I love wildlife, um, and I love bears apparently now. <laughs> and when you're just sat there for a while waiting and you're just like someone like me who's a big kid and you just really hope to see something and then it's right in front of you and then, ah, oh, it was just so magical, I got to stop. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a person who goes out. Um, in big crowds or like pubs or things like that, which is fine. I'm quite an introverted person really. As much as I'm happy in speaking like this, I'm quite introverted. And when I'm sat there with like nature and just listening to it, it's something I could do every day. And to see the bears was just, yeah, it's the best experience. I loved it. So um, that's why I get tearful. That's why I couldn't sleep because it's just, yeah, absolutely incredible and I remember Mia knocking on the high door at like 6 p.m. He's like, how was it? I was just like, unbelievable. <laughs> it's just incredible. So yeah, more, not more I can say than that. Uh, so tomorrow is my last day. Uh, today, sorry. <laughs> today is my last day and it is snowing. And I'll talk about that more, what I'm going to be doing in the next vlog. 
I'm hoping there's going to be some bears. If not, it'd be a very short closing vlog. <laughs> but we'll see. Nature's nature, as I've said this whole time. If it appears, it does. If it doesn't, it's fine. I'll get some shots of the forests and um, the scenery here because it's beautiful. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you on the next episode. Last one in Slovenia in the snow. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.